Yeah, so my question is, um, how do you play outside within the turnaround in a blues context? And um, what would Scott Henderson do, to give an example of the sound right. and style that I'm going for? So right. it doesn't have to be strictly Scott Henderson, but we're thinking that sort of outside, fusion-y sort yeah. of blues. Okay, that's a great question. So whenever you're playing outside, it's uh, a really build-up of tension, and especially here and the turnaround chord progression and this or any other turnaround chord progression. That's great to do that, to play outside. But at the same time, we need to resolve the buildup of the tension. So the five chord is really great for a way for us to really resolve that tension if we target one of the pitches of the E7 chord. All right. So let's try, when I play the E7 chord, let's try to go with one of the tones. So you can just check out which ones are under your fingers. If you play like an E7 sharp 9, you can go for the root or the third and flat 7th. All right, let's try it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so whenever I'm playing outside like... I just try to get a go with different rhythms and different chord tones. So I see you play, well, if we play outside, we mostly derive um, tones from a chromatic scale, right? Like at the bigger picture, it all comes down to playing one of the 12 tones, um, one after each other. So what we can do is like make up a composite, a composite scale um, so we derive um, tones from the the chromatic scale, but also from like a minor pentatonic thing. So the minor pentatonic scale would be just a normal A minor pentatonic scale, but all the tones in between can be used also to fill up the gaps. And the way I'm thinking uh, when I'm playing this is just to use the notes from the minor pentatonic scale sort of as the home base, the, the ones that I'm focusing and accenting most, but the other tones are mo more of, uh, you know, and, uh, passing tones, are used as passing tones. So the thing is that if you try to get into that way of thinking, the most difficult thing for um, advancing to that is then to make a, a sort of chromatic run sound great without sounding like... Um, so we need to use other phrasing elements. So what you can do is use slides in your playing. So for instance, if you have a minor pentatonic scale, you can actually slide into each of those notes. So we can try it with uh, the notes that are on the, the highest position on each string, meaning if you play eight and five on the high E string, we can actually slide in note to the eight. Four. <laughs> now we have more options to make it sound outside because you just slide into the normal notes that you normally play in the minor pentatonic scale. So in my opinion, this is a really great way of making a chromatic uh, sort of scale uh, sound great because we are already familiar with playing minor pentatonics. <laughs> And just for now, go with the notes that are here uh, on the 8th or the 7th fret and just slide into them from one fret below. I will do that uh, mostly um, on the upbeat. So we start on the upbeat here on the 6th fret and then on the 7th fret we have the downbeat. But just make sure it resolves then again. So if you keep on playing like chromatic stuff, and it doesn't resolve, then it sounds really out there, you know. And sometimes you want to resolve, uh, especially when you're uh, going to the five chord, for instance, then you can resolve on one of those pitches. All right, thank you. All right.